Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to my 2184th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Traders, it's been exciting out there. As you've seen, these markets are whipping around. That big head and shoulders is weighing down on the markets now. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's get started. Please know before we discuss the topics on the board that this is a very risky game. Trading options, stocks, ETFs, futures, you name it, very risky. And in fact, they just increased margins. They doubled margins in futures as of today. And the evening margins are 100% of the value that you're going to trade of whatever contract you're going to trade. So margins have been raised. That makes it even more risky because a lot of people bail out of the markets once their margins get raised. So please be careful. Know the risks and know that there's probably some margin selling coming again tomorrow when all the brokers start calling their customers and saying, listen, you need to send margin money to hold your S&P position, to hold your stock position, to hold your whatever position. What would you like to do? Now, they either say sell gold, sell this, sell that to hold my stocks, or they say bail me out of my stocks. That's a lot of the answer that you'll get. Instead of here's more money, buy more for me. So that creates what I call forced liquidation, and that may come tomorrow. Be careful. All right, traders. So what's on the board for trading 1029? That is Wednesday night through Thursday in the markets. The Omni says to continue selling rallies. The head and shoulders formation remains valid until it's not. And you know what, kids? I'm going to take a bow for that. How, how about me calling that head and shoulders before anybody seen that thing coming? Come on now. 15 days ago, I told you, get ready. Something's not right. In fact, traders, if you recall, a couple of weeks ago, I said, I'm working on something in my video, or I'm working on something that I'll show you in a video that started to scare me. And until I get confirmation, I will not show you, my video fans, and many of you wrote back to Oscar, you're scaring me, dude, what is it? And I came out immediately five days later and said, I've got my confirmation, now I'm going to show it to you. And it's this massive head and shoulders with the confirmation head test, and now I expect the market to drop. And boy, has it dropped, right? There is no one that calls charts the way I do. I look at charts better than anyone I have ever met better than anyone on Wall Street, and I will take that to the bank, kids. And you know if you've been watching me, you know I'm not lying about it. No one makes these calls like this. I love charts, and I'm going to show you some in just a moment. So what's on the board? Head and shoulders remains valid till it's not. Gold did break down just like I promised in my last few videos. I told you, cats, it would, and I got people writing to me saying, Oscar, you got this wrong. It's a cup and handle, and it's going higher. They told me the same thing about the S&P and the NASDAQ five, ten days ago, too. Oscar, you're wrong. Look at my comments. It's a cup and handle. And I say, you know what, guys? That's what makes me different from you. I don't put my opinion behind this. I read the chart. I tell you what it says. Not what I want it to be. And I specifically wrote back to some of you guys, and I said, listen, your replies to me are froth with opinion. I'm calling the chart as I see it. Why would you have an opinion about that? And what happened? The chart prevailed just like it was supposed to. Gold and silver broke. The S&P formation, or the head and shoulders formation of the S&P made that break. And those were the things I've been bringing to you for the last 10 days. So analysis does work well, and there's something else to add to it. Last night, in last night's video, I should say, I showed you Bitcoin and said, beware the double top. 13,915. Well, the market reacted and pulled back so far from that double top. And then, watch out for crude oil, kids. Knock, knock, knock. Crude oil is knocking on a door. Let me show you that door right now. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, a couple of weeks ago, I looked at this NASDAQ chart. I promised you in my videos I was working on something that was starting to scare me. And I would wait for confirmation before showing it to you. Then we got confirmation right here, and I started to show this to you, and I said this is a head and shoulders formation, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, with the Oscarism called the Feld head test. That's my confirmation. Now I can show you, and I expect the market to go lower. This is where we were when I started to bring this to your attention. 
And this is what happened so far. I mean, are you kidding me? That was an absolute perfect call, traders. What more could you ask for? We've come all the way down to here so far. We are below the 50 bar moving average, and it is still going. So if this head and shoulders wants to produce, it gives me two targets. Number one, 10.650 in NASDAQ. That's the NQZ, the futures. And target number two, 9,800 to 9,775, if this is going to produce a down move. Now, I will tell you, that only brings us down to here or here. That's not major. So I don't think this is the top of all tops. Maybe it is. We'll find out. So far, I've called top, and it's worked. But I don't know. I think once we get to these targets, we head back up. I think that this show has shown up because... In my opinion, and I've shown this to you in many charts, fundamentals show up in the charts first. The news comes out in the charts first. We have a head and shoulders formation, meaning the market should go down. It does start to go down when leading into a presidential election. I say this shows us that we'll have a contested election. First, the formation, then the fundamental we, we find out about it afterwards. So fundamentals come out in the charts first. You get a formation, then the news. This tells me that we're going to have a contested election, hence the head and shoulders showing up before the election starts. S&P, same sort of thing. Had the head test and cracked all the way to here so far, below the 50 ball moving average, and that looks pretty valid up, up till this point. And remember, this remains valid until it gets negated by the market going all the way back up here. So we've, we're in a head and shoulders for now. Russell. Russell didn't make a head and shoulders, but it did give an Oscarism called the flat top, which, of course, I presented to you cats way before this started to dump. And down we've come. And look now below the 50 ball moving average as well. Russell doesn't look good. Omni is bearish for Russell on... Wednesday and Wednesday night to Thursday, we will be selling rallies. Dow Jones transportation average has stayed in here for a long time, messed around a lot, but stayed in here. But look now, crack, crack. Here's where it settled on Wednesday, below the 50 ball moving average. That doesn't look good. Dow Jones industrial average, same sort of thing, left a gap, dropped lower, is now. Looks like it's going to test the 200 ball moving average and is well below the 50. So, you know, technicians on Wall Street are watching this as well, kids. They see this coming down. Then there's gold. I mentioned to you that gold would crack. I showed you this and I said, you see this? We cracked from here. Now we're building another one and we're going to crack from there. Right after we drop from the resistance and get under the 50 ball moving average. So you've seen this in my last couple of videos. Here's where we were. And the crack is now beginning, right? Just like it was supposed to. Now the market's starting to go down. Analysis works really well, kids. You just got to know how to read these charts. Bitcoin. I put this in last night's video and I said, watch out for this red line because this red line represents Previous highs, 13.915 back here that you can't see on the chart in 2019. We hit that exact spot, or just about anyway. Visually, we hit it and dropped all the way to here on Wednesday. So there was a reaction at the double top. When we see a double top, we sell a double top. We didn't trade Bitcoin, but that did work for trading on Wednesday. And then we've got crude. Crude oil, knock, knock, knock. How many times is it going to knock on this door? It's actually got two knocks here, the red bar and the green bar. So knock, 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 knock. Now, if it doesn't break, it will the next time it gets down here. And the projection, if it does break, minimum 3250 on the downside. We're talking December crude. So that's a good 500 points from here. But that is your projection, and it looks like crude will be next to drop. So, traders, you've seen the charts, and you know what? That's it. That's my argument. Watch that crude oil. Knock, knock, knock. It knocks again. It goes if it doesn't happen on Thursday. Our formation called the head and shoulders remains valid. We will sell rallies until Omni flips to a green Omni. It tells us not to sell rallies. Gold and silver broke as promised. Bitcoin pulled back. 
from the double top analysis is firing on all eight cylinders this week, kids. Make sure you do your chart analysis and follow the plan that you take off of your chart. If you don't know how to do that, just go to futurestraders.com and join me in my live trading room and I'll help you out and teach you how to read the charts. I spend my whole life there and we go over stuff every day which pertains to these markets. Now, I voted, did you? Early voting, baby. I just went and took care of that. So listen, go out and vote. Have your voices heard. I don't care who you vote for. I don't know you. You don't know me personally. Vote for whoever you want. I'm going to do the same. But I will tell you this. If you are pure market-minded and you don't care about politics, you don't care about Democrats, Republicans, incumbents, whatever, I will tell you this. Markets cannot stand change. They love stability. The stock market does not want to see a new president come in. It is not prejudice to presidents. It's prejudice to this. It doesn't like change. Markets like stability. So if you had a Democrat in office and he was running again for a second term, markets want the Democrat in. If you had a Republican in office and, mark and he's going to run again, markets prefer the Republican gets in. Why? No change. Markets love stability. So if you're going to cast a vote and you don't care who you cast it for, cast it for the markets. You know what I'm talking about. Markets like stability. Go cast your votes. I will see you all. Come to LiveWithOscar.com or FuturesTraders.com. They're both the same. Keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do, in my opinion, to keep those emotions at bay and during this election and the way markets are flying and COVID spiking, Keeping emotions at bay is not easy. <laughs> Believe me, I get that. But when you're trading, at least, try this. Put your stop in first before you get into the position. And then when you start to get nervous and you're about to change your stop or you're thinking something and maybe you should move your orders, don't touch the keyboard. Instead, say this to yourselves over and over again. And by now, you should know what that is stop so Say that to yourselves. Don't mess with your orders, and I will see you all at futurestraders.com. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.